Welcome everybody to another episode of WEW and out comes a man who returned in December to remember in a way we were not expecting him to come back. Here comes the disgusting John Cena. After Kyler's bout with Cody Rhodes, John Cena came out and we were expecting him to do his usual hustle to loyalty respect act, but he just punched Kyler then hit the AA. But after this, we'll be Karen Cross versus Rocky for the United States Championship. Let's see what Cena has to say. Him versus Kyler for the WWE Championship is official for Winterfest, and we will hear from Kyler later tonight. But coming up next, we have a very important announcement from our general manager, The Rock. Here comes the United States Champion, Karrion Cross, and usually the champion comes out second, but, but this time we don't know if Rocky will be able to compete. He is injured after his match with Brock Lesnar at December to remember, and I just feel so bad for Rocky. But he, he got squashed in front of the whole world, but hopefully Rocky can't back on his feet by winning the United States Championship for the first time in his career. Oh, Rocky. Rocky does not look like he's in good shape right now. This is even worse than I thought. This is even worse than when I last saw Rocky backstage. And remember, this is for the prestigious United States Championship. Karrion Cross had a great match with Parker at December to remember. Here we go, and oh, Cross with the knee to Rocky's midsection, the injured midsection. It, oh, what a big clothesline by Cross. Now Cross is picking up Rocky. Oh, but Rocky, rock hard cutter, rock hard cutter out of nowhere. Can't Rocky win the U.S. title? Injured one, two. Oh, and Cross kicks out, and he grabs the arm. Cross with the, oh, what an elbow to the head. Now a boot to the back of the head as well. And Cross now with a Doomsday Saito. What a move. Recently, Cross has brought so much more prestige to that United States Championship, especially with that move. Rocky now, even though he's injured, he's trying to get back up. Oh, he ducks the cross hammer and rolls up Cross. One, two, three. Wait, no, Cross kicks out. Rocky still trying to claw and fight his way to the title. Oh, but Cross counters a punch and grabs him. Oh, it, oh, Cross Jacket. Cross Jacket is applied. Will this be it for Rocky? He's fading. He's fading. He, he has to be out. The referee's checking on him. And that's it. For being injured, Rocky put up a heck of a fight. He tried his best. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Will Xavier accept this match for Winterfest? Here comes Jackson, the man who suffered a loss to Bray Wyatt at December to remember. Let's see what he has to say. Former best friend, but also former bitter enemies. Here comes Parker. It's gonna happen, Jackson versus Parker. If Jackson loses, he's fired at Winterfest. Xavier's theme song and the new Jackson theme song you just heard are all available on the WW Music Channel. Raw Breaker, this is his debut here and he will be squaring off with Bobby Fish. Match begins all in a shoulder tackle already. And now Braun picking Bobby up and tossing him. Bobby Fish now going to the middle rope. But Braun now with a big Frankensteiner off the top rope. Now lifting him up. Gorilla Press Slam connects. One, two, good night Bobby Fish. As you can see, Kyler holds that beautiful WEW Championship. He had, a, he had a really, really tough match against Cody Rhodes, but he is still here as our WEW Champion. What strong words from Kyler, but this has been it for WEW episode 42, and we'll see you guys next time.